angry right now. We've really worked, angry. We've worked it enough. Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass. Welcome to another beautiful day in Perth, Australia. Now my first few videos from Down Under, I featured uh, a Ferrari SF90, Ferrari 812 GTS, a Ferrari Speciale Aperto, an AMG GT Black Series, an AMG GTR Pro, and a Mercedes SLS. I nearly forgot, there have been so many cars. <laughs> but that is just a tiny amount of the cars in the full Lee collection, the amazing guys that are hosting me during my time in Australia. So I thought today I'd try and give you a bit of a, a whistle-stop tour of the other cars they've got knocking around. So welcome to the Bat Cave. Now, Josh from the Lee collection, he's an old friend of mine, he's been appearing in my videos whilst I'm here in Australia, uh, was very keen for me to point out this is a temporary home for the Lee collection. They are currently in the middle of building like a whole new clubhouse where all of these cars will eventually be displayed. But for now they are housed in here, this kind of abandoned warehouse, which is therefore pretty dusty and dirty which means a lot of the cars are covered in dust and grime and, and Josh was freaking out about that and the fact that they weren't all kind of lined up perfectly but I said I said don't worry we're here for the cars not the setting. I actually think it's kind of a cool juxtaposition that things like that Lamborghini Sienna just dumped in this abandoned warehouse. I kind of love it. So yes, as long as you guys are also happy to look past the dust and the dirt, I reckon we crack on and I can give you a full tour of all the cars currently displayed in the Lee Collection warehouse. So we are kicking things off with a big hitter. Now I'm not a big McLaren Senna fan, but in my opinion, this Senna GTR is freaking awesome. Uh, so when the Lee Collection took delivery of this car, they applied this livery, which is kind of celebrating, I guess, or, or harking back to the 1996 BMW McLaren F1 GTR, which wore the same Fina or Fina livery. And I just think it suits this car so well. Uh, a few additional touches that the Lee Collection uh, have applied, uh, most noticeably, yellow headlights when those lights illuminate. It's the coolest looking thing. I actually think the, the GTR version of the Senna makes so much more sense. The standard road car is just ugly, it's just ridiculous and over the top and I, I've never been a fan as I say. But with all these additional winglets, the bigger rear wing, the fact that this is a track only car, it just works. I'm like oh my god yes and maybe it's the livery that's working for me. So absolutely outrageous to see. Uh, unfortunately we won't be experiencing this whilst I'm here um, but at some point I'd love to have a go in one. Um, I think it'll be pretty extreme on the road but there are a few road legal versions out there so never say never but for now we can just enjoy looking at this thing in all of its liveried glory. Obviously a few of the cars in here I've already featured during my time in Perth uh, but over my shoulder you can see another track only special Huracan GT3 Evo and then there's the SLS from the Mercedes video from last week. Another McLaren that I'm actually a fan of, the 620R, which is kind of a hybrid between a track only variant and then a track focused road special. It's actually a wrap, it's not paint, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this car when I had a go in it last year, so very cool to see. Uh, and then we move on to some Ferraris. <laughs> oh yes, there is, there is a pretty good selection of Ferraris in this warehouse today. And I guess we can kick things off with this Pista Spider in, I think, a fairly fantastic spec. A lot of people don't like red Ferraris, they say it's obvious, they say it's boring, they say it's resale red, but I don't care. I'm always a fan of a red Ferrari. And there are some touches to this piece to spider, which are fantastic, firstly, the stripe, but then gold wheels. Sometimes you can get gold wheels wrong. It does happen, but I think on this spec it really works because of that kind of tan Alcantara interior. Oh, I do still love me a Pista as insane as they are. Pista Spider was actually the first iteration that I ever drove. So um, yes, I mean, oh, I just, I love you. World's loudest and most aggressive Speciale Aperta, a, a very nice white Roma, and then the beautiful tailor-made 812 GTS which features that incredible Novatec exhaust. I was going to say potentially the best sounding car in this warehouse, but yeah, hold tight because some special bits coming up. 
Now you might be surprised that I'm gonna get excited about this stock standard Audi R8, but I've seen so few of this kind of final generation R8. It's really nice to see. It's kind of really classic spec. It looks freaking awesome. Apparently this is a future project car. So I've got to enjoy it whilst it's stock because uh, Josh said next time I come back, it's probably gonna have circa 2000 <laughs> horsepower. So I guess go and follow the Lee Collection page if you want to see more on that car. Uh, next to it, it's a car that already has stupid horsepower. This is a VF Engineering supercharged Huracan Performante Spider with the 1016 body kit. This is very LA right here, making its way over to Australia. That was super cool, I guess. Uh, I have driven some supercharged Lambos now and they are absolutely mind boggling, but I just don't have too much more to say about it. I think I'll leave that to Josh because he is determined that I experience this car at some point during my time here. Here's a corner that makes me happy. The Ferraris are cool, but these three are also cool. Aston Martin Vantage AMR manual with very loud exhaust pipes. We're gonna have to start that up in a second. Uh, then we've got a 991-911 Speedster, one of my all-time favorite Porsches. Still, I think, overlooked and underrated. And then over here, yes, a manual. 992 GT3 in yellow, very nice. Lots of carbon on that car, quite an extreme spec, but it's a, it's a manual 992 GT3. Uh, then we have the AMG GT Black Series, which I featured previously, but next to it, oh my God, it's an Alfa Romeo Giulia GTAM. I kind of love these things. I've, uh, I've driven the GTA, not the full M, which gets this kind of mad rear wing, sculpted carbon fiber rear wing that just doesn't really make much sense visually, but um, yeah, super cool. And then I'm pretty sure you get a roll cage. You can just see it there in the back. So it's a two seater saloon car, um, fairly extreme. Not similar, of course, to the Jaguar XE Project 8, but yeah, very nice. So I, I, that's got to be a rare car in Australia, surely. Very nice in the green. Yeah, super cool. Oh, I just, mm, I'm a big fan of those, but still can't decide whether I'd lead towards the, the Project A or not. Uh, then we get on some kind of uh, executive saloons or some luxury cars. We've got a very nice uh, Wraith with, I think, a Mansory body kit. A brand new black badge Ghost. I obviously spent 24 hours basically living in a Ghost at one stage. Super nice cars. Black badge, obviously, uh, I guess a little bit cooler. I like the, the orange pinstripe. And then check out the Maybach G. GLS. I'm kind of obsessed with my back products. I think they're super cool. This is kind of a beast. For me, it's kind of the route I would go instead of, for example, a Cullinan. So yeah, nice to see, but I guess maybe not the most exotic stuff in the collection. So let's move on. I'm very quickly going to interrupt the video just to tell you about one of my sponsors for this trip. I am never able to do big adventures like this one to Australia without sponsors and I was supposed to tell you about one of them today but I forgot but now I'm back at the hotel I can tell you about Athletic Greens. Uh, I first heard about Athletic Greens about a year maybe even a year and a half ago when some of my favorite YouTubers started talking about it. Uh, Cara and Nate Awen and Beck, Sailing the Vagabond, all did such a great job at promoting Athletic Greens that I was like, heck, I gotta try this stuff. So yeah, I got myself some AG1. Uh, if you don't know about this, it's essentially everything your body needs in a super easy to consume way. You essentially add one scoop of this stuff to about 300 mils of water, chug it down first thing in the morning and feel great. Actually really tastes good as well. Whenever you usually talk about healthy drinks, especially green healthy drinks, you're like, mm, that's never gonna taste good. This stuff genuinely does. But more importantly than that, not only do you know your body's getting everything it needs, you feel great. Let's face it, jet lag when flying from the UK to Australia, pretty grim. First few hours that I got here, I was fairly groggy, but I woke up the next morning, had my AG1 and immediately my energy lifted. And I felt good throughout the day. This has become part of my routine. AG1 is packed with multivitamins, multiminerals, pre and probiotics, immunity support, and all those greens that you should be getting. Those ones that the doctors tell you. Are you getting your greens? Well, they're in here. Uh, it's obsessively researched and backed by science. It's only got the good stuff in it. It's gluten-free, no eggs, no added sugar, nut-free, dairy-free, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, etc. If you use my link in the description below, you can get yourself one year's supply of immunity supporting vitamin D3 K2. But more importantly, and maybe you heard them fall over a second ago, these travel packs. I have loads of them because, okay, right, this is great, but with the amount that I'm out and about, I usually just shove a load of these into my camera bag. It means wherever I go, I can keep up that daily routine of adding these to water, chugging it down, and just feeling good. Let's face it, you should never be putting a price 
on your health. So I highly recommend you go and check out AG1 by Athletic Greens. Huge thanks once again to them for sponsoring this trip. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to do these big adventures without sponsors, so huge thanks. Anyway, now let's go back to earlier in the day and carry on with the video. So just in front of that row that we were just looking at, we've got the AMG GTR Pro, and then this, another Roma from the Inspirazioni collection from Ferrari. This harks back to a, a heritage Ferrari, so it's a livery that would have come from, I guess, a 250 short wheelbase or 275. I actually don't know what car it would have come from, uh, but, but nice to see, and these are sort of cars that well, hold a lot of value within the Ferrari collector market, even though it's only a Roma um, because of the livery, yeah, people kind of go nuts for it. And then check out this, 765 LT Coupe. Another McLaren that I'm a fan of. I mean, that's one, two, three McLarens that I'm giving a big thumbs up. That's unlike it for me, but um, yeah, super cool to see with this very special color change wrap. That's not paint. You could actually get this paint from MSO, um, but I believe the guys didn't have that option at the time. So they took the car in a stock paint and then yeah, applied this color change wrap, which is pretty awesome. As I move around there, you, go, you get a real idea of how it changes. Some amazing wraps in here, by the way. Um, AMG GT Black Series being another one. And so now I guess it's time to move on to the, the big hitters. Uh, important for me to say that this actually isn't the entire Lee collection. There are other cars dotted around. If you've been watching my videos from Australia, you will have noticed the SF90 is in here, for example. So some cars are kept in other locations. This is the majority of the cars. There's also a lot of cars on order that are coming. I've kind of come prematurely to Perth. I should have waited for a lot of the, uh, the big, big hitter stuff that is on the way. But this, for example, Lamborghini Sian, uh, very recently purchased, not actually road registered yet. So we can't actually take it out for a drive, which is a bit annoying, but very cool to see. I don't remember seeing Cyan, Cyan, Sean, anywhere else. Uh, obviously the kind of hybrid version of the Aventador. Uh, really nice in that, in that uh, Verde scandal color then bleeds kind of into black uh, with the numbering. It's a kind of wacky and, and cool thing. I have no idea what it would be like, but as a thing to see, pretty damn special. You have to get up close to one of these cars to notice just how much is going on. Firstly, from a sort of design point of view, but then also from an aero point of view, kind of get a bit of a Reventon vibe at the front, but just endless kind of winglets and intakes and aero blades. I mean, just absolutely everywhere on this car. It's, it's very futuristic and very UFO-like and, and very Lambo. Is it open? Oh yes, it is. Look at that. There's the interior. Good old Cian Shan Shan badge. Um, otherwise, fairly familiar to other Lambos. One of 63 badges just in the center there. I believe this is the only one coming to Australia. And then there you go, look at that exposed carbon fiber that then bleeds into paint, that then bleeds back into paint. Sorry that the exposure's kind of going crazy. Got this big old window just behind us. It's wreaking havoc with my camera. But yeah, I mean, it's a super cool thing to see. Unbelievably rare. And I, say, I, don't, I don't remember seeing another one in the flesh yet, but I could have. Sometimes you go to these car shows and you forget. And then, oh, look at that. The super, super capacitor glowing just between the seats very back to the future yeah giving that i'm giving that a thumbs up i'm a lambo guy today uh, we'll move past uh, another mclaren which well you can all figure out what that is um and then come on to this one of two carrera gts currently in the collection this one also a wrap they weren't quite brave enough to paint it this well quite metallic -y mirrored pink. Um, now, what makes this Carrera GT special, not that it really needed a reason, <laughs> it is a Carrera GT, is that it has a straight through exhaust pipe. Yep, this thing is full on F1 car. I mean, we're, we're going to have to start that up at some point because, oh my god, it sounds glorious. Uh, two more track only specials behind me. I think that's an Audi R8 LMS and then that's the uh, McLaren 720S GT3 X thing that I saw at Silverstone a few years ago, absolutely mad, one off crazy, like a million, a million dollars or something like that for that car. Uh, absolutely insane, but yeah, track only cars. And then finally in this room, a rather lonely looking Ferrari F8 Spider. The F8 so often overlooked and sort of, yeah, undervalued really. People sort of knock it as, oh yeah, who cares, let's move on to the 296, or I'll just go and buy a 488. This thing is a proper bit of kit, looks fantastic, a very nice classic spec. So yeah, nice that it's here, kind of amongst, yeah, the track specials and the big hitters. 
So even though, as I teased, plenty of stuff is still on the way, for me, it's one of the most incredible and varied collections I've ever witnessed, especially in Australia. Even though I've spent limited time in this country, this is just an absolutely mad room. Now I'm gonna wait for Josh to arrive. He should be here very shortly. I think we've got to start up some of those cars with special exhaust, and then I think it'll be time for a coffee. I've just learned something that I missed on these two cars earlier. So look, they both have these optional Capristo glass engine bay sort of windows. These are like $20,000 options so that you can see the engine bay usually on these special spiders. You don't get them. Absolutely mega. Thank you for the, thank you for the, no, it, no, for the info. Figure, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you the impossible question. The yeah. question that no one could ever answer. Do you have a favorite? You can't, surely. It really depends on what mood you're in when you wake up, right? Uh, if you want to have a bit of fun, you got, well, 8, 12 GTS to wake up the neighbours, right? Uh, Rolls Royces are good for clubbing, good for restaurants, good for tooling around with friends. Um, and obviously you've got your, your Porsches, the CGT, the GT3, which are, if you want a driver-focused experience, those are the ones. Uh, my least favourite car Oh, is, that's more interesting. Which is the Romas. Really? No. Yeah. Why? They're not a 911. Okay, well, yeah, sure. And they're still kind of a California, unfortunately. Oh, that's Which so got hurt brutal. Really. <laughs> I mean, I've really just fallen out with you massively, but considering that you're letting me come here and film these cars and drive some of them, I'm not going to pick up too much of a fuss. But, oh, you don't think it's beautiful, though? It's stunning. It is stunning. I think it's 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 the, probably the, the best-looking kind of front engine since the, what, the 575? Sure. But it just doesn't But what is it? What is it? I think it's because you're spoiled. You got you got too much to choose from. That, you're like, uh, oh, Roma Schmoma. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful car. Um, it's like you said. There, there's just just a lot of, a lot to choose. From. Yeah, no, I, I fine. But I think as a, as a one car garage, that is still a, a, just a really fancy bit of kit. Absolutely great for the kids. Got a big trunk for the shopping. It's comfy. Uh, yeah, so you I just hate it. Buy itself. <laughs> It's not bling bling enough for you. It doesn't, it doesn't sparkle enough no. for you, clearly. <laughs> now, I did tease the fact that almost all of these cars have fairly outrageous exhausts. Yep. So I think we should start some up. If you don't mind, I'll use you yeah. as, as my engine starter. That's all I'm good for. What do you want to start with? Maybe the Aston? Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah, can do. That could be a good, because, yeah, let's do, let's do the Aston. Okay. So, so what, it, what exhaust actually is this? Is this a... Oh boy, uh, I have no idea. No. <laughs> Just a loud one. It's an exhaust. It's an, it's an exhaust. Okay, yeah. fine. And, and what did you say off camera just a second ago about this car? It's basically a C63. Yep, sure. Okay. So, <laughs> just thought I'd land you in it there because you've already slagged off most, one of the most beautiful Ferraris. Let's see what this car's all about. That's a deep rumble, sir. It is. So that's, what the, that's in uh, track mode. It's, it's throaty. It is. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! I mean, that transforms that car. 100%. Wow! Even though with the manual gearbox in the AMR, yeah, um, yeah you have to have an exhaust. Bloody hell! Yeah, completely changes the whole personality of the car. For sure. Yeah. That's so much more aggressive than I was expecting. Yeah. But you weren't right. Also very C63. This is not a bad thing. It's a great car. Hey, great, hey, great car. Um, where next? I guess... Uh, um, hey, should we do, can we do the 812 GTS again? Because it was so good the other day. I'm thinking in here it's going to reverberate and sound yeah. fairly spectacular. So this one is a reminder for people, uh, Novatech exhaust system, one of the best in it's the like world. It's like a Formula One car. Obviously. It's literally a Formula One car, so. It takes a little bit to warm up. Okay, well we can start it up and then let's go have a, a tea. <laughs> That, that is that is genuinely, genuinely one of the best. Yeah, so serious, serious exhaust. Now I guess we should move on to the big daddy when it comes to the sound and exhaust. The best-selling car in the world? Yeah, so you've been hyping this a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy rap, but I don't think I've actually ever heard a 
Straight pipe crew straight GT. Straight pipe crew GT. So the inspiration behind this, again, standard CGTs, incredible, right? Free revving, and they sound amazing, don't get me wrong. But in the early 2000s when this car came out, there was a YouTuber called VR Alexander, and he had a set of straight pipes on, uh, which were from a company called AWE Tuning. Okay. And that's what we bought these from. Okay. So, uh, that's, sorry, that's where we bought this exhaust from. Uh, and it sounds like nothing else we're in the process of having it street registered, so that's why we can't take it out, unfortunately. Sure, okay, no stress. I mean, I'll, I'll enjoy it from behind. You gotta hear this. <laughs> I actually don't know if I'm ready for this one. It's got like a beefy, like a beefy grumble. It does, it's a little bit angry right now. We've really worked, angry. We've worked it enough. Yeah, let, let it cool up, cool down a bit. Or, or heat up even. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. It, that will never come across on camera. But that, I can only equate that to like Goodwood Festival of Speed, when you go up to like the old motorsport paddock yes. or the old, my ears are actually stinging. It's angry. It's so angry! And what, I mean that mustn't, what's like th four, four thousand off here? Ah, uh, that was six. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's a different tone. Yeah, each, each, each kind of thousand revs uh, is a different tone. Okay. And just, it just, it just, you tra play it like a musical instrument. Uh, yeah, when, once it's street registered, we'll, you have to come back and we'll... <laughs> Please, I'll, I'll, I'll happily do Take so. you out. <laughs> but it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I wanted to uh, move the GTR for a thumbnail, but also I think it looks so mean. It actually sounds super aggressive, that car as well. I mean, we're doing exhaust startups, but it, it sounds good. But yeah, just with the yellow headlights. And just, looks pretty, you know, I, I like this car, mate. I yeah. like this car. I don't really like centers, but it's, it's, it's just got an aggression to it. It's got an aggression to it, but it's also actually a lot less intimidating than the street center. Really? Which we've got as well. What, yeah. to drive? Yeah, so this drives on the street just like a, a 720S would. Oh. Yeah, it feels, it feels the same. Sure. Um, the turning circle is an issue. Uh, this being an XP car as well. Okay. Uh, if you get the engine to a certain temperature and then turn it off, you've got to wait a couple of hours because the system gets a bit sensitive. Because McLaren. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Looks the bomb though. Yeah, well, this is one of the, the, the deliveries that wasn't done in the, uh, in the heritage, those centers. Okay. Um, obviously, harking back to the, the McLaren F1s. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, it looks the part. Well, and I'm going to do a quick thumbnail there. So thank you. Thank you for moving the car. Nice. Um, and I so say, yeah, look at these three now. Looking pretty outrageous. <laughs> underneath and inside the cabin and one thing else that I forgot that it has oh my you <laughs> are you secretly an extra from Fast and Furious Tokyo, Tokyo Drift? Drift this is ridiculous what on earth have you created apparently this is our ride to the coffee shop because he was like oh you've got to experience this thing but I'm telling you right now, I'm not driving it. I wouldn't be sick. <laughs> I wouldn't be sick. Don't no worry. <laughs> I'll safely stay in the passenger. This is, I mean, it's actually quite amazing, but 
I won't, I won't give Josh that credit. What is going on? Nothing subtle about this car, is there? No, not <laughs> really. We are just two guys in a pink Lambo making all the noise. Have you got the neons on at least? No. The thing is, this car surprises me a bit because, okay, whilst you are the kind of kings of mod modification, I feel like almost every car in the league collection has had some kind of modification. Yes. This is extreme. This is on the on the deep end of the spectrum, certainly. How often does this get used? This hasn't been used in three months. Okay. <laughs> I have to say, you know, you know what? I made a big proclamation earlier. Yes. I said I think this is the best car collection in Australia. Okay. Which I'm sure Australians might argue with, but there's two reasons why I think that. Firstly, because you're not afraid to modify and tweak. All the cars are kind of personalised. Yep. Either wrapped or big exhausts. But also, you're using everything. This is not a collection of things to look at. As far as I can tell, it based on the last few weeks, like. We're out here having fun of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, for, for us, you know, we dreamt of owning these cars one day. Um, and they're, they're not, I mean, yes, they are works of art, but they need this to be. This one's not. Yeah, this is a, uh, a Robert. It's uh, a Picasso. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Art's in the, in the beauty of the beholder, right? Sure. Um, Good point. <laughs> and so, yeah, they're, they're, they're meant to be driven. Um, and, you know, we try and get them out as often as we can, obviously, uh, uh, schedule permitting. But they're out here to have fun. Every car has a different personality, makes you feel different. Um, and you want to. Life's, life's too serious. Yeah, no, hey, look, I'm all for it. That's what, that's why for me, of, of all, all the collections yep. I visited, not that many. Oh, he, he wants to race, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So thank you. I, I, as I say, didn't expect that we'd be going out this today, but it's a nice way to, it's a nice way to get a coffee. It's beautiful weather, yeah. and, you know, it needs to be driven. Like so. a decaf. Yeah, say, if my heart goes any higher, I'm dead. A green juice, perhaps. Yes. Supercharger, so cool. Yes. <laughs> That's our spot. That is our spot. It's quite a lot of attention that car, doesn't it? Uh, it does. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it, it does. Pink Lamborghinis in Perth are not necessarily a an everyday thing. practice. Yeah. This has been awesome. Cool. This has been great. Actually, I'm not going to say it's been my favourite day so far. But I've, I've enjoyed today a lot. Yeah. So thank you for that. Uh, I hope you guys have too. As ever, if you want to see more of the Lee Collection, more of Josh's adventures, you can follow them on Instagram. You've still got the YouTube channel going as well. All the links, of course, are below. And we'll be back with you for more more adventures. We've got, we got stuff still planned. There's still stuff going on, people. We're not, we're not tapped out yet. No, and actually, some of the cars we're featuring next weren't even in today's tour because they were in a different elsewhere. Yeah. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, catch up with you very soon. Bye-bye.